When was the last time that you lost something? Did you find it? How long did it take? Did you end up having to replace it? When we think about businesses, lost or misplaced assets can cost both time and money, which can start to add up very quickly when you have a large amount of things to keep track of. So we had a customer a while back who was curious in solving this exact problem. And so they asked, can I use my existing network infrastructure to help me track down those lost assets? So together with that customer, we built a custom dashboard that relied on Bluetooth low energy tags affixed to the assets themselves. Those tag beacons were then picked up by the customer's Meraki wireless infrastructure. We then put together a little bit of custom Python code and Meraki's location scanning API to pull in that location data and plot it on floor maps for the company's offices. Sound interesting? Let's take a quick look at a demo of how that works. Okay, so to get started with this demo, the first thing that we'll do is take a look at the setup within Meraki dashboard. So on the screen right now, I do have the maps and floor plans up for our organization, and you can see that I have two floor plans uploaded for now. Next, we'll hop over to network wide, and under configure, we'll choose general. This is where we can configure the location scanning API to tell Meraki to send location analytics information to our application. So we'll scroll down to location and scanning, we'll enable the location scanning API, and then we'll configure the URL for our app. For the setup, we can also configure a secret, and for this use case, we will also be setting our API version to v3 and radio type to Bluetooth. Next, we'll hit validate to make sure that the Meraki cloud can reach our app, and it looks like it was successful. Next, we'll just go ahead and jump over to the Meraki location scanning dashboard. Now, by default, when this app starts up, it'll reach out to the Meraki cloud, pull down all of the networks that are configured, as well as any floor plans that are assigned to them. So on the left side of this main page here, we can see that we do have two Meraki networks configured, home and test network 01. We'll go ahead and click on the link for the home network, and it looks like the app did successfully download both floor plans assigned to that Meraki network. Now, right now, both of these floor plans are empty. The Meraki location scanning API will send that location payload about once a minute. So if we go ahead and refresh this page, we should see data start to populate. So after a quick refresh, we can see that our map for floor two now is populated with both the Meraki access points as well as the Bluetooth low energy tags that were detected. Tags that we were able to pick up a precise location for are placed in orange and placed on the map as close as we can to where the APs said that they detected the signal. And for tags that we did not receive a precise location for, for example, in cases where not enough access points heard the beacon, those we place in green next to the closest access point that heard their last beacon. So using this dashboard, we can potentially help find lost or misplaced assets by having a quick view into where that asset was last seen. Okay, thanks for watching. If you're interested in finding out more, check the video description for a link to the code repository. Feel free to pull it down locally, get it up and running, and contribute back any changes.